Hey guys, Paul from Green Dragon Hydroponics. Um, I'm here today to talk about how to improve the quality, the aroma, the flavors, the vitamin content, the medicinal content of your plants and herbs that you're growing in your indoor garden. Uh, the way that we're going to be doing this is uh, by measuring the bricks of the plant, which is essentially the amount of stored sugars, amino acids, proteins, vitamins, and all the good things that go into your plant to give you that high quality, um, aromatic herbs, the, the uh, more terpenes in your basil, more flavors in your tomatoes. And um, so basically what we're going to be doing today is taking a sample from a few plants and squeezing out the, the juices in it so that we can measure the percentage of the bricks. Our number will give us a basis to improve that, that quality of the plant. Let's get started. I'll show you a few plants that we're working with and then we'll use the refractometer to get a, an exact percentage of the sugars and sugar content in the plant. All right, here are the two plants that I'm gonna be working with. Um, they're both jalapeno plants, grown from different seeds, but um, <clears throat> the one on the, on the right here is grown hydroponically with uh, mineral-based nutrients. And then the, uh, the other one is grown organically. And so we're gonna take samples from both of these and then um, squeeze out the juice using a garlic press. Okay. I'll give you some tips on how to improve your bricks using organic biostimulants or adjusting the, the minerals in your nutrient solution. All right, so on the left, we have our um, hydroponic leaves. These are taken from the bottom of the plant. And then um, on the right are the organic. And um, we're gonna use a spoon, a fork to squeeze a drop of each. If you have a garlic press, that's probably the most convenient, but I didn't have, happen to have one, so um, I'm gonna use these, and then we'll get a reading of each and um, see how we're doing so far, and then can go over some ways to adjust the bricks in the plant. All right, we'll take a reading. All right, so 7.4%. Um, so this will be reading a little bit low. We're looking at um, ideal of 12% or better. So um, uh, let's try with our, I'll clean off the, uh, clean off the refractometer and we'll try with the organics and see how they're doing. All right, 6.9 on the organics. Um, so both of them are a little bit low. So there are a couple things that we could do and I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I'd like to also just check the, the fruit. There are a few jalapenos coming off these plants. So I'm interested to see if there's any difference between the, the leaves on the bottom and the, the fruits that are starting to develop. I'd like to see the sugar content on both. All right, so I have two pretty young peppers um, from each each plant, and um, I'm gonna uh, squeeze a drop out of each and see if the sugar is any different from the leaves to the to the fruits. All right, 7.4 on our uh, hydroponic one, so it's exactly the same. And 6.9, so we've definitely learned something today uh, when it comes to measuring the bricks. So, um, I'm going to show you a few things that we're going to do to improve the bricks and then in a few weeks we're going to take some more samples 
and see how we're doing. All right, so there's a couple things I'd like to do here to increase our bricks. We definitely want to see it around 12%. So um, uh, this is interesting because I kind of had an idea about these plants. They both look healthy and happy. Um, the one growing hydroponically seems like it, the spacing out a little bit. So I thought that maybe I was a little bit going a little bit heavy on the nitrogen. Um, now nitrogen is a luxury element. so. Um, if you have too much of it, it can use up energy that should be used for photosynthesis and carbohydrate metabolism. So um, in this case, what I'd like to do is start to ease off the nitrogen, obviously because we're starting to see um, bloom start, and then increase the potassium, which helps with the carbohydrate and sugar metabolism. Um, so hydroponically, and what we're running cutting edge, um, Uncle John's blend is a good potassium additive. It also has iron and then uh, magnesium. Um, both of those things are going to be what's going to help um, help synthesize carbohydrates and create more stored sugars as we head into bloom. Um, when we're dealing with the organic ones and running nectar for the gods, uh, the Medusa's magic is what provides a one-to-one -one nitrogen to potassium ratio, which is about what we're looking at, looking for heading into bloom. Um, the Zeus juice is also a really, really great tool to have when dealing with organics. This is essentially uh, humic acid and kelp, along with some other things, but um, when you mix humic acid and kelp together, it increases the nutrient availability. It also has uh, growth, hormone, growth hormones with help with rooting, with help with grow, uh, growing and transitioning into bloom. So um, adding Zeus juice into the mix is is definitely going to help with overall nutrient uptake. Um, the last things I want to talk about bio, using organic biostimulants in general. Um, as I said before, the humic acid with the kelp combination, there's a study in Virginia Tech and I recently took a class by uh, Harley Smith. He talked a lot about using both humic and fulvic acids in conjunction with kelp as either a foliar spray or a, a soil drench with your nutrients. The ratio that Virginia Tech came up with, which increases the availability of both of um, these up to 50%, is 5 to 2 humic acid to kelp ratio. So whatever you're working with, you want 2 parts kelp to 5 parts humic acid. And you can use that as a foliar or mix it in with your nutrients. So here I have a couple examples. This is bioweed, and then Advance has an ancient earth organic, which is both short and long chain humic acids. Um, both are really good products. They've been on the market for a really long time. Um, last one that I'm going to recommend is a Bigfoot Mycorrhiza. And this is a new product that I just started stocking. It um, obviously contains mycorrhiza, so it contains uh, kelp, worm castings, biochar, all sorts of good stuff to help with overall nutrient uptake within your grow. So I hope that helps. Uh, just to sum it up, what we're going to do to improve the bricks is to increase the potassium, lower the nitrogen, add things like magnesium, iron, also add uh, organic biostimulants to help with overall nutrient uptake, which will all help with carbohydrate metabolism and maintaining more stored sugars in the plant. So I'm gonna make a few changes in our nutrient schedule as we head into bloom, and then take a few more samples as we go, and hopefully we can get that bricks up above 12%. So thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, definitely hit like or subscribe button leave a comment below in the video let me know what you thought and um, hope to see you on the next one all right